How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. And today, what I want to talk about is the grind that's going right now in Destiny 2. This is more of a thoughts video, not so much of an analytical video. I've been posting a lot of Destiny 2 uh, weapon reviews, so if you want to check those out, I highly suggest checking them out. If you want to see some of the new Forge weapons and how they act, especially in this video, you'll be able to see it as well. So, what I want to talk about is um, mainly the Masterwork weapons and the Forge weapons in the Curse of Osiris DLC. Because they, the get to obtain these weapons is very different than you've had in previous experiences playing Destiny 2. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are complaining about the, and this also kind of plays into the end game as well. Because I feel like a lot of people are complaining about the end game of Destiny 2, because they get everything they need, and that's all they, and then what else is there to do after that? Crucible, and just kind of play for the hell of it because it's fun. Um, I think that the main, a big issue with this game was that they just, they just threw loot at you, just constantly, just everything you'd want, it's just kind of going at you constantly, and that it's just too easy to get. Honestly, in my opinion, I think all the stuff in this game was really easy to get. Uh, I mean, the game is designed for a casual audience, so it makes sense. Uh, but you know, you gotta give um, you know players that carry at the end of the stick, and I think. Getting these forge weapons is a great example of it. I grinded the hell out of these weapons. There's still more to grind, which is ridiculous, but uh, not, but in a good way though, because uh, when you receive these weapons, it's really rewarding to get them. Plus, they look freaking awesome, and uh, I've noticed how many many of them are PVE focused, not so much PVP, and so, which I think is uh, great because a lot of weapons in this game are very focused on. Uh, being beneficial in PvE and PvP, and a lot of times that doesn't really work out as planned. Uh, so these forge weapons are a lot of fun to grind out and give you a reason to play other aspects of the game. Strikes, Crucible, um, Trials, any public events, uh, anything like that really. And so and I think they kind of tried balancing out as much as they could for it came to time uh, spent and uh, resources gained. Uh, though I'm most of the time I spent my spent my time grinding out uh, public events for the Radio Lorian uh, cultures, and I spent most of my time in Crucible uh, trying to get the uh, Paradox amplifiers. But then uh, to get the uh, to open up a quest to get the uh, Paradox Perfect Paradox shotgun, you actually had to play a little bit of the Heroic Strikes, which was awesome. I love the strikes in this game. I just wish there was more incentive to play them. Finally got an incentive to play them, and I loved it. <laughs> and so. Having more weapons like this, more quests and ways to earn your weapons is what Destiny really needs, uh, rather than just randomly receiving them. You know, and also having these weapons be good. And I think a lot of these weapons are pretty dang good, uh, especially the SMG for the Forge weapons is great because you can pretty much, if you're a Devour Warlock, you can have recharging health constantly with unlimited ammo and not having to reload which is great you just shoot melee shoot melee the whole time it's fantastic giving you some more gameplay aspects rather than just um elements of the gun that play up at say like rampage you don't really do anything different when you're playing trying to activate rampage you just try to kill everything like you already do and so having things like that modify your gameplay in a certain way to make it more unique of the give you a more unique feeling with this weapon by the way, I may die in this gameplay if I remember correctly, so forgive me. But going on, talking about this, this is the, um, part one of the uh, Saint 14 mission, by the way. And uh, so I've really been enjoying that a lot. Um, talking about the Masterwork weapons, I think they're fantastic. I think it is a perfect uh, compromise between having static rolls on weapons, which I actually prefer, and, and the uh, random rolls that were back in Destiny 1, which a lot of people liked. Um, I understand the random rolls because you try to give people incentives and excitement for getting that, you know, devil's, a better devil's hand cannon for the fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth time. Try to get some excitement for it. But then you don't also don't want people to have an unfair advantage, say, like in the Crucible, which kind of happened quite often. If you got like a god roll clever dragon, well, you, uh, you did pretty damn well back in the Rise of Iron. And so. Uh, I really enjoy it, most of, but most of these uh, master works are just kind of stat boosts uh, rather than giving you actually any kind of gameplay advantage. Uh, though I do like the one where it drops in a single orb for you on like a double kill, whatever, triple kill, whatever. Um, I think that's a great addition as because it does something unique to the weapon. It doesn't just, uh, you know, make it 
you know, better in some certain aspects. Because boosting a stat is just boring. It's really, you know, straightforward, basic, and doesn't really do much to give you excitement for wanting to do this, other than just being able to pwn the noobs in the Crucible, essentially. Uh, so being able to create some kind of aspect to the weapon that will maybe synergize something better with uh, your squad or uh, like I said they boot yeah there I go I died blah but um, something that can maybe work in gameplay favor rather than statistical boosts to give it some more uniqueness to it and I think that would greatly benefit uh, the master works like I said generating an orb is fantastic we had that back in Destiny 1 with, uh, with a, like a trinket I think it was or something like that uh, so glad they brought that back and uh, some more things like that some synergi synergical like things if that's even a word uh, say if you wanted to make your forge weapon a masterwork if that's even possible I haven't tried it out yet and uh, say like if you're running with two different forge weapons then you get some kind of boost of something with involving you know more damage against the Vex or something along those lines something that makes it more gameplay uh, driven rather than stats and boost of stats you know that you definitely tell that's what that's something like you know more uh, mechanical much like how destiny did with a lot of their strikes and their uh and their especially in the raids it's much more mechanics based rather than uh damage based which is great uh for the game as well so overall I would say that uh, Masterworks, fantastic idea. We'd love to see it keep on expanding. I've heard that they're going to keep on expanding the idea of Masterworks as well, hopefully get, bring in some new perks, and so then give you some more reasons to grind out the gameplay here. Uh, I think I'm, glad, I'm really happy about the rarity of Masterworks as well. It's not super easy to get, but you get them enough where like it's like an obtainable thing that kind of keep you playing, and I think I found the perfect medium of that. Like I've grinded oh my god I've played too many hours this week of destiny 2 and i think i've received probably about four maybe five ish amount of uh masterwork weapons i'll have to double check on that but at least three guarantee you that <laughs> and it's a pleasant surprise like oh nice a masterwork kind of thing rather than being like up oh, got another one because i feel like a big thing with destiny 2 is that since uh everything is kind of randomized to how you receive them there is no way to really earn your weapon it's uh just completely randomized and so then it kind of loses the uh reason to play certain versions of the game you just kind of play whatever you want and you can receive whatever you want uh that's why i really enjoyed these um uh these forge weapons because you have to play a certain way you have to do a certain thing to get these kind of weapons like you do with a perfect paradox you have to actually play these mis this mission and you receive this weapon uh so that's the main thing i've been my main issue with destiny 2 with the loot is that you get it too easily and that you get it doing whatever the hell you're doing in the game which is good at some point but then if it's based on everything in the game all your uh, loot in the game is just randomized and you just can't get it for playing the game uh it loses um the aspect of earning the weapon and feeling like a sense of pride when you get this like yeah i got that weapon i tried my best and i got it it's freaking awesome rather than just being like oh look i don't this is a convenient little drop for me thank you very much game i appreciate that <laughs> if you're trying to get if you understand what i'm trying to say here but anyways guys uh, so overall, to summarize the entire video, I would love to see more stuff like this in the future expansions or just random updates like I say in the April update coming for Destiny 2 which would probably be the second expansion, it's my guess. And so, more stuff like this, great. Expand on Masterworks to make it more gameplay oriented rather than just stat boosts. That would be fantastic and um more weapons like the forge weapons i think they're fun awesome weapons and they're, they're a blast to grind out and when you get them it's a it's really um you know you a sense of accomplishment you're like yes i got it and uh so that's my thoughts on this uh right now let me know in the comment section down below guys what you thought about the masterworks weapons and also the forge weapons in destiny 2 and they, obviously the destiny the forge weapons are not anything to go oh my god it's op gotta go do it but uh, they're certainly good, fun, and enjoyable weapons, uh, and plus they look freaking awesome. <laughs> and uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, tap that like button for uh, let me know you want to see more content like this, and it greatly helps with the channel and video as well. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought of just uh, the Forge weapons and Masterworks. And if you're new to this channel, you can always subscribe for more Destiny 2 and Halo 5 content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. <sighs> Click the videos up above, and we'll see you next time.